is this? Is this a drawer of full of beetles? beetles. Are you kidding me? What? They are. I just opened up a drawer filled with <laughs> beetles. Are these brass? Are these? These heavy? are all. Like spiders, Frankie. That's only a half a swipe. You found a propane tank. Yeah. A full one? Mm. A 20 pounder? Oh, there. <coughs> it's covered. <coughs> it's covered in red. Yeah. <coughs> That's literally covered in red. Here we go. This will be fun. Okay. The further back we go, the more wool I see. Oh, I love wool. Not, I love wool. Nothing like the smell of rotting wool. What is that? Is that an old aluminum tank? Old what? That's an aluminum tank right there, uh, Frank. Stainless steel. Stainless steel, okay. Yeah. That's just as good, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I thought. There's, I counted three heaters in there. Oil, oil, oil stoves. Oil furnaces. Three? There's three of them in there. One behind you and two on the other end. You actually can see. Maybe he's talking about that thing. If possible, guys, I'm going to recommend you watch this video in 4K and on a big screen. So this used to be an old pig barn and we start with what we call bin number one which is filled with rotting sheep's wool, with random bags of animal bedding and whatever else he decided to collect over the years. But we need a place to put whatever good stuff we hopefully find. You want me to just shovel it right on out? Mm. Or what? No, because they okay. can't. We're just going to be shoveling it into the dirt and shoveling it again and shoveling it again. I'd rather just pick it up once and throw it where it's going to go. So at first we pull the dump trailer as close to the door as we can possibly get it, figuring that this will speed up the process. This smells like it's been soaking in urine for a while. Then we have a dump trailer full of this to haul out. The sacks of wool are soaking wet. With what? I don't know, but it makes it heavy and the bags tear apart, which means I can't really throw them all the way to the front of the dump trailer. What is it? Three eighths to one inch wood bits. Oh, let me see those. Look at that. Things we're gonna keep when you set in here. Okay, so this will be our new staging zone then. This will be the spot where we keep. 
keep everything, keep all the metals and stuff. Noon. By noon of the first day, we've got one bin cleared and it doesn't even feel like we've made a dent. right up to the door works but in practicality it basically means I've got to pull the trailer forward every now and then then push all of the garbage forward squish it there pull it back then back the trailer back up it's almost easier for us just to pull the mini loader up to the door throw what we want into the bucket and sort it from there do you like spiders Frankie uh, well it don't really matter but I know there's plenty in here <laughs> you think Think there might be one or two in here? <laughs> Some areas of the barn much worse than others. Hey, uh, is it breaking? Keep it in, keep it in. Yeah. Okay, let me just get this out of here.
on a propane tank. Yeah. A pull one? Mm. A plank on it? Oh, there. <coughs> Cover it. <coughs> it's covered in wax. Yeah. <coughs> That's literally covered in ranch. Yeah, I know. Out of the top. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I'm trying not to bother. <laughs> Can you put it right here? Oh, the switch is on your there. The, the, the levers are on my side? Yeah. All right, let's see I'll what give you the honors. All right, we'll see what we got. We'll let these guys see it with us. Record player, way off. Uh, what the hell are these things? I guess it used to be a record player. I don't know, what am I? What are these things? No idea. Huh. There's plenty of them if we need these things. What is that? Oh, cool. Sorry. All right, garbage and yeah. one piece of scrap. At this point, we've switched gears and now we're using the mini loader. So what we're doing is putting everything into the bucket of the mini loader. And if it's garbage, it'll go on the dump trailer. And if it's scrap like this, I'll haul it directly out to the woods. <sighs> you just made a day's wages off that one piece of scrap alone, Frankie. <laughs> What I do sort, I look for brass or any other metals outside of scrap just to help Frankie get through it faster. I don't really know what that is. What is that? What's that? I don't know what this thing is either. There's so many things in here. Like what the? Oh, that's a mason's spade, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. 
Get out of the pile over here. Sit down there, Jeff. What is this? Is this a drawer of full of beetles? beetles? Are you kidding me? What? They are. I just opened up a drawer filled with <laughs> beetles. Are these brass? Are these these are all no. bugs. I mean, brass. What kind of beetles are these? These are those click beetles. Huh. No brass, no copper, no. You're interested in brass and copper. I'm looking at a freaking drawer full of beetles. I've seen drawers filled with brass and copper before. I've just never seen a drawer filled with beetles. So while I'm hauling scrap out to the woods, Frankie's inside and what he's doing is he's sorting all of the different metals into different piles. He's looking for brass and aluminum and making sure to get that pulled out separately from the regular scrap metal. In this place, you never know what is going to be in a box. It could be what's on the outside of the box, but honestly, more than likely, it has nothing to do with what's on the outside of the box. Except in this case. It's exactly what's on the outside of the box. But all the other times, it's usually worse than what's on the outside of the box. Egg cards, I think. Full of dirt? This must be for seeds. This has a remote control that allows you to control the dump trailer remotely. So this is actually not kind of a gimmick, but really more of a safety feature. There have been guys or people in general that have actually been killed when a dump trailer is broken loose and crushed between the trailer and a pickup truck. Plus that remote also allows you to sit in your truck and lower or raise the box we while you drive down. forward. It almost looks like we made it down. Oh, we made it down. Well, so far it's been two uh, dump trailer fulls of garbage. I switched from hauling garbage to starting to remove the big scrap while Frankie continues to sort, sort through the smaller stuff. These guys always find keys or something, you know, in them. Nothing. Yeah, you heard Frankie right. He did say keys. He's actually on the lookout for anything valuable, and a good skeleton key can go anywhere from $5 to $45. Winterland, tell me all your secrets.
The garbage to scrap ratio in the Schweischer chicken plucker building is not really what Frankie wants to see. We're getting a lot more garbage out than we are finding scrap or really cool treasures at this point. And the dump, the dump tra trailer fills up fast. the cab of the mini loader but it's honestly really surprisingly comfortable and it has a heated seat that's going to be a game changer this winter we find an old Christmas tree bag and put it to good use So what we're finding inside here is wool that have been shaved off from different sheep over the years combined with actual animal bedding bags of it that have been stored and let set and then taken over by whatever has decided to move into the barn and random bits of garbage. That bag works pretty good. I'd say. we get the material removed from the building we bring it out to the woods where we separate it we have a truck coming in to pick up all of the scrap and then the rest of the garbage will get loaded up and hauled out at the same time but the problem is the dump trailer when it dumps spreads everything out way too far and so we need to consolidate the piles before we go home for the night I want to push the pile into as small an area as possible so that Frankie and I can tarp it because we don't know how long it's going to take us to finish cleaning out all of the buildings on this farm and so we want to protect it until we can get it out.
I've also got to admit to you guys, pushing up garbage is something I've never actually done before. I've pushed up snow, I've pushed up dirt. I've never done anything like this and it's kind of fun. Just like that, I lose my camera under a big pile of garbage. So just when I thought I was done digging through garbage for the day, I get to dig through some more garbage for the day. Yes! <laughs> yes! Look at this little... Oh, shoot. Right. Well, I think that's enough for today. I, uh, <laughs> Frankie's still working over in that shed, but it's going on six o'clock and Lucy wants to go home. Yep, Lucy, do you want to go home? Come here. Yep, that's why we're gonna cut off. You want, do you want to go home? Lucy, do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? <laughs> <laughs> Yes? You want to go home, Lucy? Do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? Okay. All right. Eh. That's enough. That's our video for today. God bless. Go get him. I got to take my dog home. She wants to go home. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We still got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. Are you coming back tomorrow, Lucy? <laughs>